We are at the hotel in Casablanca. I'm getting ready to go to the airport tomorrow morning. It's very quiet in here. We've got a couple other people checking in. Um, dinner doesn't start for another hour or so, so maybe we'll see some other people around dinner time, but um, much quieter than normal. Everyone here has been really great though, so excited to see what tomorrow brings. To our channel, I'm Becky. This is Ryan. Hi. With Becky and Ryan travel coming to you from our hotel room in New York to tell you about our recent trip from Morocco back to the United States during the COVID 19 pandemic. Um, just a quick snapshot of what's going on with us we left the United States in February of 2020. We sold everything to travel the world for one year. We wound up um, being in Morocco when the borders closed. So we were there through the quarantine and we were able to travel around for um, about a month after that ended before Morocco announced that we needed to leave by August 10th to avoid overstaying our tourist visa. Um, we've got a lot of great videos about Morocco if you want to learn about our time there and why Morocco is such an incredible, wonderful place with a lot to explore. Yeah, so check out this video. This kind of gives you a story about our trip and our journey from Morocco back to the United States. Thanks for watching. We're here at the hotel in Casa waiting for dinner to start. It doesn't start until 6.30 and we had breakfast at 9.15. Um, so we're very hungry and very ready for dinner and a little warm, but yeah. We'll catch up with you maybe later tonight, maybe tomorrow when we're at the airport. Honey, are you excited about having dinner? Uh, yeah. Are yes. you excited about having a glass of wine? Yes. Tell everybody what's happening right now. We're waiting on some wine. I ordered a bottle of wine for both of us to share, and um, we're waiting on dinner. before 6 a.m. and we are at the hotel. Ryan's having some coffee and then we're going to catch the shuttle over to the Casablanca airport to head out. Um, we're very sleepy. It's when we're early morning. We're excited about a travel day but we're really going to miss everybody here in Morocco and we want to say sincerely thank you so much for all of the kindness for hosting us, for treating us so well, um, and for coming along and being part of our journey. We're excited to show you what the day looks like, and we hope you'll stick with us. So we've gotten here to the airport. Um, it's just after 6 a.m., so it's really early, but there's, it's, it's not at all crowded. Um, there was a bit of a congregation or a, a group of people outside. It looked like they were getting off of flights, waiting for transportation, but other than that, it's quiet here in Casablanca. today we're not able to get on the flight um, because we're not residents of Istanbul and it appears that we can't get on a flight um, per the RAM guidelines to anywhere that we're not a resident of um, so we're gonna go figure it out yep. adding insult to injury the cafes are cash only so no breakfast but that's okay so, funny story, <laughs> we got up real early this morning uh, to head to the airport. We're going to fly to Istanbul today. As we've already talked about, they uh, wouldn't let us back on the plane. So, we've now ended back where we all started here at the, uh, the hotel. It's close to the airport. We came back. Um, they were nice enough to give us our room back, at least for the next couple hours until we get to check out. We're also going to eat some breakfast. Like Ryan said, they are going to feed us, um, which is really kind and nice because we already checked out, so they didn't have to do any of this. So big props to this hotel. We really appreciate the time. Another benefit to staying an extra day, we finally got to try a meatball tagine for lunch. So day two of trying to travel. We are at the airport. We went to check in again to the United States this time. 
Um, but they said that our tickets aren't confirmed. So we are going back to the booking office. Hopefully we'll be able to find the same nice man that helped us yesterday. We are back in the ticket line to check in. We found our favorite Ram agent. His name is Iseem, I think. I tried to take a peek at his, um, at his name tag, but if you're watching this, thank you so much because you have been so incredibly helpful to us. So we are back for check-in number three. This will be our third attempt here. Check-in yeah. number three. Hopefully we're about <laughs> to get on the plane. Maybe we'll see you on the other side. You guys, look what we got. We got our boarding passes, so we are one step closer. Getting on the plane to JFK. We are sprinting through the airport right now because we have 10 minutes left before boarding closes for our flight and took a real long time to get through second security or immigration or whatever that was. So anyway, this is what the airport looks like and we are booking it to try to get to our flight. And we're boarding the plane. It is 99% official now. <laughs> once our butts are in the seat. <laughs> well, maybe. Just a little bit closer. We're in the, uh, I guess, the little vestibule thing. That's about to board a, a bus, is what we understand. Mm -hmm. um, if you come here, it is a little warm, so make sure you bring your personal air conditioners. <laughs> uh, it is spray fan. <laughs> Liquid free, no water in it. You're not allowed to bring your water on the plane, even if you purchase it at the airport. Oh, I did not know that. Anyway, we'll see you shortly. Hi, we made it. We're sitting butts in the seat. So I, I would say the mission is 99.5% secure. <laughs> Once we're up in the air, it's about 100%. New York, here we come. We're coming home. Whew. It's been uh, what, five, six months, five months, five and a half months since we actually left home, uh, left the United States. So it's been a while. Uh, we were planning on being gone for a year. Things didn't happen, didn't work out the way we wanted, but on to new adventures. Touchdown, we're on the ground here in New York City. <sighs> okay, so we landed, we're here in the States. We're actually in uh, New York City, actually just by JFK Airport. Um, we're tired, we're a little hungry. I'm a little hungry, I don't know about Becky, but uh, we couldn't resist and we got ourselves a New York style pizza. First meal back here in the States. You guys ready? to see our first New York pizza. There it Ooh. is. So we are gonna eat some pizza. After we find some napkins, maybe. It is 4 a.m. New York time. It would be about nine o'clock if we were in Morocco. So normally we're awake right now. Um, but we are at the hotel trying to figure out what our next steps would be. It's actually been harder than we thought to find an Airbnb and a rental car um, and to figure out what our immediate next steps are. So um, we'll be, I guess, trying to figure that out. We should be sleeping. It's four o'clock in the morning, but I think our clock is off and um, I can't sleep for a while not knowing what we're doing literally today. Um, so Ryan is nice enough to stay up with me and see if we can get this figured out. Okay, so this is our first morning in the United States since arriving yesterday. So it's about 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, the hotel that we're staying at, we thought it had breakfast. When I booked it, it said breakfast was included. But unfortunately, it's not just because of all the conditions and everything. So we are walking down this, this industrial road next to a uh, bus parking area in hopes that we can find uh, some food, which we think there is some stuff down here, so we're not too worried about it. But uh, this is our new life, at least for the time being. <laughs> yeah. 
We're in Queens. Yeah, oh yeah, we're in Queens, New York. Yeah. Right over there is the Burger King. They're doing takeout and delivery only. It doesn't even look like you can go in though. So this is the coin shortage, I guess we've been seeing. Is the coin sh oh, crap, I can't speak. Um, so we read about this, that there's a corn shortage in the U.S. and I guess that's legit. Ooh, that looks good. Got some coffee. Pretty excited about the 7-Eleven. See guys, this 7-Eleven coffee bar is pretty amazing. Ryan has a light roast French vanilla coffee. I have a light roast blueberry coffee. There's this whole array of creamers and milk options and sprinkled marshmallows. Ryan loves marshmallows. And then there also are, uh, there's cinnamon, and there are actual real sprinkles over here for your coffee if you want it. So this is a real exceptional treat for us this morning, especially after a big trip yesterday. All right, so we found a 7-Eleven. We just spent $38 at 7-Eleven, and that didn't even include gas. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We wanted to show you a little glimpse of what we've gone through the past couple of days to get back to the United States from Morocco. Uh, as you can see, it was quite the experience. Uh, however, we are very, very excited that we have planned our next stage in travel. Can't wait to show it with you guys. So watch out for those videos coming ahead. You can see that we're a, a bit sleep deprived. We've actually been working <laughs> on this for a while over the last uh, couple days. Uh, so we look tired, we are tired, <laughs> but we're excited to show this stuff to you. We also just want to say again how much we really did enjoy our time in Morocco. We were very sad to leave. We met some incredible people there. We've got a lot of really cool videos to see about our time in Morocco, and we absolutely recommend um, that you add it to your bucket list of places to visit if you have not been there yet and we want to say again thank you from the bottom of our heart to everybody who has been with us so far on this journey because you guys have helped to make it really incredible for us so we hope we will see you on our next video and don't forget to stick around for the bloopers <laughs>